Hey guys, welcome to the clinic cast and crew. We've got an exciting match for you guys today. Leave it in the comments below because I want to know. I already want to know. What do you guys think of the new maps? A lot of people hate them, but I've heard some good things from, you know, the odd source or two. But, you know, before we uh, get into this match and how awesome it is and tell you all the crazy cool things about these players, I want to introduce my co-caster. Actually, he's on this side. It's Traffic. He's from Polygon Gaming. He is an amazing player, very analytical, very, very smart dude. Traffic, it's a pleasure to have you here, man. Absolutely. It's it's great to be here, Malcolm. And uh, I play Zurich and Terran for Polygon Gaming. And we have a nice match here on our hands. Right, The latter season just started. Mm -hmm. And these two guys already competing, already playing a lot of games. Both these guys in high masters. So no doubt these guys will be pushing for those GM spots. Exactly, man. And when that opens up, I'm excited to see if we see these guys on that roster. But that's enough teasing. Let's hop right into this here on the top right-hand side of Invader Ladder Edition. In the blue Zerg trunks, already starting his gas, it's Snake. Yeah, and up here in the top left, we have from Clan Sync. Oh, man, I don't even know if I want to try to pronounce this name, but I'll give her my best shot. Tam Ammo Num Nomo. I don't know what we're going to call him. What are we going to call this guy, Malcolm? Well, I took Japanese, so I have no problem with that name. It's Tam Ammo Nome. But for your sake, let's call him Tammy. All right, let's call him Tammy because I don't think I'm ever going to be able to say that. <laughs> so what do you think? think of snake's build this really early gas uh he's going for the pull like cheese is really 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 popular when new maps are coming into play because people don't know exactly where to put overlords to scout for cheese what to expect and you know this is a very very wide open space that uh lings banelings very very deadly in areas like this so like what are your thoughts is he gonna cheese you know, I actually missed it. Is this a two-player map? Because if it's so... It's four-player. This is four-player. Okay, but they are going to spot each other through the Overlords um, um, meeting here. So, because they, they're both going... Uh, they're close by air, so they have spotted each other with their respective Overlords. Mm -hmm. And so it actually worked out very well for Sneak, because if he had not spotted his opponent here in the top left... He would have had two potential spots that he needed to move to, but now this 14-14 opening is going to be very effective because he knows exactly where to aim all of its power. Exactly. So I'm just kind of glancing around the map, looking at the features while this game's setting up, and this is a pretty interesting map. There's a lot of high ledges, so I feel like uh, get, just getting any of these high ground spots, like uh, Traffic, you and I were talking the other day when we were looking at some replays, the importance of just controlling a center point. Well, there is actually a great center point right here on the Selnaga Tower and another one right up here that you could really park like, I'm thinking more like siege tanks and stuff, not the right matchup, but again, just looking at the map, like this could be a really good Terran map. Yeah, absolutely. It looks like there's a lot of different features on this map that can be taken advantage of. I cannot wait to start using some of these, but we have a very unique opening over here from Snake. He actually skipped his Zergling speed and went straight into a Roach Warren. Okay, so that's interesting. Um, You know, this could be a very economic, very greedy play. Going, like, we thought it was cheese, but, you know, going for the earlier Roach Warren means he's not going to be spending as much larva on Zerglings. So as long as he can stay safe, he's eventually going to be able to drone much harder than Tammy. Yeah, the, the roaches are larva efficient. <gasps> There's a huge squad of links coming. Uh, link speed going to be uh, completing here. We will see if the roaches will be enough to defend this. Remember, zerglings are typically considered the counter to roaches uh, in small numbers as they are able to get really big surrounds on that collision size. Now, that means if these links are able to get in here, and again, wide open areas, I just want to reiterate that. Oh, banelings, that could be a mistake. He's actually going to want those to be zerglings. These roaches totally going to shut out the gas cost of the banelings, and the links actually going to run up here into the uh, main here yeah. and getting a little bit of scout. Go ahead, traffic. Absolutely. I think he should have canceled those bades. You were right on, but we'll see what happens because the Roaches need to be in position. That's the thing. The Zerglings are faster. Let's see if he's in position. If he is, these Banelings are not going to help. 
No, and the Lings are coming here into the natural. Going to get a surround off on that queen. That is definitely the high priority target as there are so many roaches here. He was not going to be able to get a lot of the drones, but he's still getting into this main because like you said, this is a we Oh, getting another drone kill. But this is a very weird... Oh, oh, he gets another one. Oh, but this is a very weird opener. And of course, the more information you can get on weird openers, the easier it will be to predict what your opponent is going to do. And right now he is getting a roach worn of his own, but his opponent already going to be completing, completing the plus one. That means this is going to be a plus one timing, no roach speed, no nothing. Snake could actually totally collapse the game here. There is a spine crawler, which is great at defending against roaches, but it is not complete yet. It may not be complete by the time these roaches get here, but Snake going back and forth, hesitating just a little bit. This may be just the time he needed. The links here in the natural of Snake cleaned up that entire mineral line. Some of the uh, drones were pulled back, but this expansion looks like it may fall. Only one roach and one queen here to defend it. Traffic, I am scared yeah it looks like it's going down the, the rush distance on this map is huge the, the roaches for snake just now arriving but tammy has been building up this whole time and i don't think that snake can get anything done in fact if he doesn't back up he might lose everything that was devastating here was the main issue with that attack actually i would love to just back it up and talk to you guys about this because wow this is a huge moment snake literally gave his opponent an opportunity back into this game because like this is all going oh we just missed the moment give us just a moment all right so backup feature not working exactly the way i want it to but it's okay we'll pray to the battle net gods okay so watch <laughs> this yes indeed <laughs> so watch this uh ali i want you to see what i'm referring to here these uh banelings okay when they connect they get so much splash damage off on the roaches like this is incredible here we go Let's see this, and we've got it slowed down, but look, okay, look at how clumped these roaches are, and all of these banelings are going to hit at the perfect moment. Not the perfect angle, but he gets four kills with the banelings, and damages multiple other roaches. If not for that attack, if not for that s single clump of banelings, that attack would look so much different. Yeah, and Tammy is definitely not taking any chances, pulling all three of his queens to the front, and he's making a very nice defense here. Mm -hmm. And it seems like he planned this the whole time. He went for that Ling attack, and behind it, he had a Roach War in, and the Lings did damage while he held at home with the Roaches. Dude, that was incredible. He has taken out his opponent's natural. This is already an incredibly scrappy game. This is what you really want to see. Uh, going into the very initial stages of a map when players are playing this aggressively It's gonna iron the map out a lot quicker than if everyone was just playing passively again Exploiting those weaknesses so that everybody knows about them sooner rather than later Yeah, and I, I kind of do feel like in this case where he was going roaches mm -hmm. He had a good roach count, but I feel like when you're playing roaches against zerglings, you don't really want to move out unless you can leave something at home, because you have to know that the second you move out, they're going to counterattack you. Right. So maybe he should have played more defensive, and he lost his natural for it. And now we have um, Tammy mining with 12 drones this whole time, so that is a huge economic advantage. Exactly, man. And honestly, thinking about it, it comes back to something you said, and honestly, I, I'm going to chalk this up to the fact that it is a new map. That rush distance is so long, even in these clo what looks like close spawn positions, it's really not, because that rush distance was so long that Spine Crawler was able to complete. On a map like, let's say, uh, I don't know, throw a map out there, Orbital Shipyard? Prion Terraces is a pretty close rush distance. Yeah. Uh Exactly. Orbina is probably the, the closest in the pool. <laughs> Any of those, that spine crawler wouldn't have had a chance. So what that's telling me about this map is that even though it at first looks like there could be some cheesiness to it, that long rush distance is going to make it a lot more passive uh, play coming out of the players, and that could favor a macro game. Maybe more roach-heavier styles, because we've seen a lot of mutalisks in this matchup lately due to that rush distance. Yeah, absolutely. You do need to keep in, in mind the rush distance. It has a big effect on this matchup, especially in regard to early pools. And defender's I, advantage. Yes, indeed. All but right. We've gone into a roach versus roach game here, and uh, due to Tammy's economic advantage, he is up at 26 roaches. But here's my concern with this. 
He may have 26 roaches, but his opponent has 18 and plus one. Not to mention defender's advantage. Yeah, we'll see if that defender's advantage can be enough. Good surround here uh, by Snake. Ooh, defeated immediately. He got caught with his pants down. Uh, in fact, he only had enough supply there to build five more roaches and no larva to do it. Well, here we see uh, there is 16, uh, 20 roaches for mm -hmm. Tammy and 17 for Snake. So it's definitely a hard battle, but... I do not like to. I don't like to see these early GGs personally. I think that it's it's a really good habit to to swing your sword one last time, see what you can get done. Maybe you can, maybe you can win this battle. Maybe they mess up and they move command. Yeah. Hey, swing that sword, man. You only got one, right? Absolutely. So <laughs> GG. Yeah, man, GG. That was a great game. It really uh, makes you start thinking about that particular map in particular. Well. That probably wasn't the best phrasing in the world. Oh, well, too late to take it back now. Either way, <laughs> you've got to really start thinking about these maps. Like, I don't think as a Zerg player, I'm going to want to attack people. Like, that Roach Ravager thing that we've been doing so long as Zerg? Well, let's talk about this for, example, for a set. Brood War? For years. Blizzard didn't balance it. For years, it was balanced through maps. That's why things like Icy Cup became so popular. Well, the same thing is true in StarCraft, although Blizzard, of course, is patching the game and is working on balance and stuff like that. You can still balance the game through maps. Well, if everyone's complaining about roaches and ravagers, and, you know, that's going to be roaches without speed, usually, uh, although, you know, there's various builds out there, um... One way that you can balance that isn't to change the damage or anything like that and affect all kinds of matchups in unpredicted ways. Just make maps with a longer rush distance. Yeah, absolutely. And um, it looks like this is some of the longest rush distances I've seen. It's certainly much bigger than the other maps that we had in the last map pool. I actually uh, would love it if a graphics artist or somebody would you know, go ahead and make an image of this mini-map and, like, show the distance to every base from every other base. Like, I've seen graphics like that made for older maps, but if someone made some stuff like that, dude, just send it to me. Uh, give me a link in the comments here or uh, message me on Twitter. My Twitter is at the only shaft. That's all one word spelled just like it sounds. How about you, Traffic? If they want to get in touch with you, how can uh, they find you on Twitter? You can find me at Polly G Traffic XXX, and uh, I like to stream my Zerg play uh, on a daily basis. <laughs> nice, man. Well, hopefully they'll check you out and uh, maybe tune into your stream sometime. Guys, thanks so much for joining us. We are the Clanny Casting Crew. Uh, this is Traffic of Polygon Gaming. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We will see you next time. Bye-bye. It's been a pleasure casting for you all. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I really like making these videos for you, so please make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out.